We've talked a little bit about the lives of working women in the pre-Civil War period, but we haven't yet talked about a large sector of the labor force, the enslaved women of the South. We're going to do that today by talking to Deborah Gray White, a historian at Rutgers University, who's an expert on this subject. Let's go back and look at some of the women uh, in the United States in the pre-Civil War period. Uh, some of these women are African-American women who are enslaved. Uh, talk to us a little bit about this population. How many such women were there and where did they live? How were they distributed and so on? To go back to um, the antebellum period, actually we have to go back before that. We have to look at black women in colonial America. And if we go all the way back to the 1640s, what we find uh, is that straight away African American women are differentiated from all other women in the colonies. Um, and this we see this through Virginia laws because in Virginia, owners or masters. Masters had to pay taxes on anybody who, as they say, worked in the ground. So working in the ground meant field work. So a master, a slave master, had to work, he had to pay taxes on the black men who worked for him, both white and black indentured servants, as well as slaves. And he also had to pay taxes on black women. The only people who were not, he did not have to pay taxes on, were white women. Mm -hmm. So the presumption was that black women could do the same kind of labor, could and would do the same kind of labor as white men and black men, but would not do the same kind of labor as white women, meaning white indentured servants or white mistresses. Mm -hmm. So women reconcile these roles. I mean, they're working in the fields, they're working hard, even when they're working in the household. They're bearing children, uh, you know, once every, probably every two years or so. How, how do they take care of children and at the same time? They don't, they don't, they don't, they don't have a choice. So, you know, I, I, I don't know how they, I can't answer that. Uh, we just have to imagine that um, they did the best they could to manipulate their environment such that they would be able to stay and take care of their child. And oftentimes that meant um, being sexually exploited even by the, the, the master. You know, if you could satisfy him, perhaps you could uh, lengthen your stay on a particular plantation. 